I wonder who's next. Uh, who could it be? <laughs> I'm on the edge of my seat. <laughs> Are you nervous? Um, no, I'm fine. Our last entrepreneur is Melissa Dickman. Five. Five unicorn, three to four. Ten unicorn, five to six. Melissa sells unicorns. On T-shirts, that is. She's a busy woman. As well as trying to get a new product off the ground, she's recently got married, moved house, and is juggling a new addition to the family. Can you not? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. She could write an email to anyone at this point. <laughs> Melissa, a self-taught graphic and product designer, had already been making cushions for her sister Nicole to use at work. I'm very close with my sister, and she works with children who have autism, and I had some products that I actually gave to her to play with during therapy sessions, and they work really well. And then I thought, well, there's other things I can make that would be really good. And that's how I came up with this idea. So Melissa created a series of T-shirts. I basically decided that we would do something colouring in, but that was good for them that they could use. Um, and actually, it worked that if you colour on fabric, it's quite therapeutic. Melissa's colouring in kits contain T-shirts with images from fairies to football and a range of non-toxic pens. That gives you a good idea of, of what it looks like. So far, so good, but not very different from lots of other products on the market. So the best thing about it is, is that after they've coloured it and they've worn it and got pretty much chocolate and all sorts over it, Bung it in, and you can put it in with all your other whites as well. Wife, how do you use the washing machine? <laughs> Joking. <laughs> the pen will just literally dissolve into the water. And that's, you know, magic. The magic of washable pens not only made the product original, but also uniquely beneficial to the children in Nicole's therapy sessions. It's a lovely mindfulness activity. And what's great about it is, as well, they can take it home, wash it, bring it back next week. And, um, you know, because also people on the spectrum tend to like to be able to repeat things. So that was brilliant. The T-shirts look deceptively simple, but actually it's taken six years from the idea to the finished product. As Melissa discovered, there was a lot that could go wrong. The tiniest little thing even the nib of the pen, you know, how much ink comes out of it, how quickly, how hard you can push on it for a child. I mean, you have to think of everything. And if you don't think of everything, it doesn't work and you have to start again. So I'd say that was one of the most stressful things about the whole thing. Having created the product for a niche market, it took a while for the penny to drop and realise that it might have a broader appeal. A friend of mine said it would make a really good stocking filler and recommended that I, you know, we sold it to all kids. So me and my parents went all over the country doing Christmas fairs and stuff like that. Um, and we were demoing the product at the time, so we were, like, telling people how it worked and they could choose their design. And it was really, really, really popular. Um, and then we started really going for it. You know, it's been hard, but it's been great. You know, my dream is that people enjoy it, really. I can't want for anything more than people to enjoy doing something that I've created. Look, Penelope, that's what it looks like. Oh, thanks. Oh, right, yeah, just help me spread it out. Oh, good job. Are you excited to watch these now? Are you a bit nervous? I'm excited to see. I okay. want to know what they think. And this is the first view, this kind of thing? Yes, I mean, I see people enjoying it, but... I've never actually seen someone go from the very beginning, yeah. read it and see how they look at my instructions. And yeah, I've never seen that before. OK. So this is the first. Good luck, Melissa. Thank you. Let's go for it. So will the customers show their true colours when they see Melissa's T-shirts? Wow. OK. Oh, oh, they've got one for both the boys. So we're going to have to rope the boys into these. How are we going to teach the kids that it's OK to colour in their clothes? <laughs> <laughs> Magic colouring, wash out and colour in again t-shirt. Age seven to eight. Who do we know that's closest to age seven to eight? <laughs> it might fit. It will fit. <laughs> we found our first volunteer to 
to wear it. Yeah. Perfect. Well, this is never going to fit me, this one, is it? <laughs> I've got one your size. size. We'll get you one. Yes, man. I've got little ponies. Ah, oh, look at them. How appropriate. <laughs> <laughs> you get some washable uh, pens, and there's a great picture here of the World Cup there, bottom right. Who draws the designs? I make the designs. You draw it all yourself. Wow. see. Now we're going to do a little bit of colouring. Colouring in. This colouring takes me in. back. It's been, a, it's been a few years since I know. I've done anything like this. <laughs> what do you think of <gasps> these? A, a, colour, a colouring competition. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can do. Well, I'll just sit here and I'll deliver on these. <laughs> Colouring. Look at mine so far. Wow. Our volunteer. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little bit tight. <laughs> That's a little bit tight. <laughs> right, here we go. Oh, that's a little bit tight. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, well, I was thinking of getting my little nephew to do the splash. But no, <laughs> I wouldn't do it. Yeah. <laughs> it's quite, quite good fun, so I'm going to have a go myself. Quite a good selection of colours. Um, and we'll start with the red. Clearly not Spurs support. Maybe today. Liverpool. <laughs> yeah. There we go. So I've just started the guy's jersey. He's obviously a Manchester United player. Oh, oh man, you, of course. <laughs> Right, I need to get out of this because it's just a little bit too tight. But do you like it? Oh, I love it. It's Would you great. wear it again? <laughs> no. <laughs> OK, so we, here's our handiwork. We've spent oh, it's very good. Oh, really? So yeah. after ten. Yeah, ten, after ten. Yeah, ten yeah, it's yeah, all done. Let me show. Let me show. Eight, eight, seven, eight, six, five. Oh, that's brilliant. Four, <gasps> three, two, yeah, one. Go on. Pens down. Go on. Lucas has decided that he's drawn pretty much all over himself. So I'm just going to see now if it comes up. Can I see if it comes up? <laughs> it does come up, but it does need a lot of scrubbing. So here we are. Here's my effort. It is actually quite good fun. Um, I'm glad I didn't get my little nephew to do this. So the test now is how well that washes off in a washing machine. So. We'll give that a go and see how it does. Ten minutes. Wash. Super short. Is that what it Start. says? A, a quick wash? No, the instructions do say 40 degrees. Oh, OK. I actually washed it at 30 degrees. The instructions say you can wash between 40 and 60, and you can wash, wash it with your whitewash without any of the ink spoiling anything. Um, well, there it is. As you can see, all the ink has gone. Great. So. That is pretty good, isn't it? We did it on a quick wash, but you can see all that blue, all the colours have come out. It's just like a slight trace of the, of the pink, pink colour. Even, even yeah, on a quick wash. Did you like, what did you think to um, the, the unicorn splat shirts? Good, good. Good? Yeah. Did you like colouring in it? I got... Married it really well. Oh, oh, that's so cute. For kids, it's great. The closest age we could get was Lily. So, did you enjoy yeah, it? Yeah, it was actually really good. Melissa, how are you feeling? I feel better now, yeah, I can breathe oh. again. <laughs> I was quite worried that they might not know you could wash it, um, even though it's all over the packaging or whatever. So, yeah, I'm pleased that that, that worked. So, everybody read, oh, it needs to go on at 40. I wonder why they just still didn't do that. Probably because they just wanted to colour it in again so far yes! that they just had to get it out. That do you think machine. that we all worry? Because I would go, all oh, 40 degrees, it might shrink. That's a valid point, because lots of people don't like necessarily washing at 40 degrees. Yeah. But even when they do it in a cooler wash, it comes out pretty much most of it. It's not like you couldn't colour on top of that. So they'd still be able to play with it. I was really jealous that I didn't have one <laughs> <laughs> to colour in. Will our customers feel the T-shirt is a washout when they see the price? I'm going to say twelve ninety nine, and I'm going to say fourteen. Yeah, because you know the price. I don't know, right? <laughs> yeah, no, I think, yeah. Yeah, yeah, not yet. Twenty five to thirty quid, maybe, with the the, the pens and things. 
seven ninety nine. What? Wow. Wow, that is really good. That's amazing. Seven ninety nine. Seven ninety nine. Brilliant. That's cheap. Eight pounds. That's a good, good. Buy. Yeah, good price. I agree. Impressed. Yeah, I think I'll put my price up now. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, what? It's really underpriced, I think. Yeah. Something for the kids to do. Yeah. I really like yeah. it. <laughs> wow, I mean, I think we're all a bit surprised yeah. there. You yeah. even just said, what did you say? I think it's underpriced. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> really, we wanted to make something that was for everyone. It's taken a long time to yeah. get to that point, and there was periods of time where, you know, it wasn't making money at all, but it was... The idea was to keep pushing it because mm. we wanted to get to a certain price point. Absolutely. I, mean, I like it at that price because it means I can buy several of them. Yes, for all the kids. That's no, the for point. me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful feedback for Melissa there. The customers were literally all over her product. Yeah, that was pretty good feedback. I'm feeling less nervous than I was before. I'm just happy that it's over and it was good and nobody hates me. But do they love it enough to give it a high score? I'm going to give that a 10. Let's go with nine. Nine. Really good, guys. I think a nine. Yeah, yeah, yeah nine. Alan and Andrew and James and Kimmy are still to give their scores, so we'll have to wait and see if Melissa's nudged Natalie from the top spot. You were right on yours, Alan. What you think is the it's score? It's I'm going to write on this. Uh, yeah, it's got a ten. Yep. One, two, three. The scores have been totaled, and it's time for our entrepreneurs to find out which product satisfied our customers the most. OK, I'm ready. In third place, with 29 points. Trixie, with your chase and tug. Yes. <laughs> Second place today, with 34 points. Natalie with fairy pants. Four, yes. And in first place with 48 points Whoa. out of 50 is Melissa with Splat Planet. Yay! Yeah. Well done to all of you. Well done. Well, I'm going to Thank hand you. over. The customer is always right. Winner's Whoa. trophy. Alan and Andrew's total was. I gave it a nine, and I gave it a ten. So I think we need to give it a 10, don't we? Yeah. And James and Kimmy also gave a top score of 10. And that makes Melissa today's winner with a huge score of 48 points. I don't know what to say. I really, really don't, actually. Oh, are you going to cry? Um, <laughs> cry considering cry, cry. I didn't cry at my wedding, I feel like I shouldn't. Oh, so that's I'm not going to. <laughs> don't cry. <laughs> yeah, hide them, hide them. <laughs> What a smashing bunch of entrepreneurs we've had today. Bad luck to Natalie and Trixie. But a massive congratulations to Melissa. The customers absolutely loved her colouring in T-shirts and they put her in first place with that frankly amazing score. It's just really nice to have validation that it's not just me who thinks it's a great product, it's other people who think it's a great product too. And, uh, yeah, I'm just, yeah, I'm speechless. Time to share the good news with Melissa's dad. We won. We won. Yep, believe we it won. or not. Well, we won. What, 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 yeah. Not what a million pounds, but I have a very nice trophy of a light bulb. OK. Well, that's good. I made it to make people smile, so... And if it makes people smile, then that's great. And right now it's made me smile, so that's good.